Well, happy Mother's Day. It's great to be able to uh, celebrate Mother's Day on a very nice weather. And, uh, and we've got interesting readings this weekend. And sheep is the connecting theme through a couple of them. And though I grew up small town Rockton, I didn't really have any exposure to sheep. You know, there's some cows. You had the Oreo cows and whatever, the dairy cows. Some chickens here and there, but not a lot of sheep. So you see them like on TV, and they seem very pleasant, the sheep. They, uh, yeah, I was a fan, I have to tell you. You see nice images of them. I remember one of my favorite people, Fulton Sheen. He's got this lovely image where like there's a little baby lamb that he's holding. Sometimes you see the Lord, and it's like, these sheep, they're, you know, they're, they're quite friendly. Well, last fall, I had the opportunity to go over to Ireland, hang out with some priest friends that uh, were in seminary. And in Ireland, you know, you may, you may know they had potatoes, but they actually, you know, they have a lot of sheep. So we're way up in Donegal, and the sheep just roam around. Like, there's no fences, nothing. And they've just got, like, maybe a little paint on them to be able to, to tell whose sheep are whose. And we're driving down the road, and there's many sheep, whatever it's a flock of sheep or whatever you call them, a herd of sheep. I don't know these things. I didn't grow up with sheep. And I said, we got we to gotta stop the car. I got to go say hello to these sheep. And uh, the two Scottish priests that I, I was with, they were not very amused. I said, guys, I'm not kidding. I'm going to go talk to these sheep. We're going to become friends. And I was just really excited for these lovely little sheep to uh, hang out with me for a couple minutes. So I got out, and, and I go over to the, like, the four sheep. And once I got about like 15 feet away, they didn't look at me. They didn't acknowledge me. They gave no indication that I was there other than they head in the exact opposite direction I was heading and just ran away. And I'm just like, what the heck? These are not the friendly animals that I was expecting. You know, maybe let me pet them or pick up one of the little ones. Didn't even happen. Turns out, sheep are kind of the worst. Like. They're terrible animals. There's a reason you've never seen them do tricks in the circus or anything, because they don't care about you, and, and they don't want to be your friend. And so we always talk about, like, I am the shepherd, and, and you are my sheep. The Lord's been giving us, like, a backhanded compliment for 2,000 years. <laughs> like, we're kind of the worst. We don't care 95% of the time about being his followers at all. Right? But there is a specific relationship that sheep do have with their shepherd. That in all the chaos, like when they are locked in and, and trust someone, they will follow that voice through anything. They will always follow that voice. Right? But every time, once in a while, you know, we go away. And that's why the Lord talks about going out, leaving the 99 to get to one. And when he picks them up, they usually have to break their legs. Otherwise, you're just going to go off again, right? Oftentimes, we don't really know where that voice is coming from. We're just being the stubborn sheep, right? The Lord is sitting here this Sunday and saying, I'm the one you need to be locked into. I'm the one who will bring you to the Father, who will keep you safe amongst all the crazy turmoil that's out there, right? So the question is, are we locked in with, with the Lord? Is he the voice that we're hearing, or are we following some other shepherd? And the only way that we can find this out is having a prayer life. Every single day, spending that time listening for the shepherd, listening to his voice, spending time with his sacred scripture. We spend plenty enough time on the internet, watching TV shows, watching Netflix. And honestly, oftentimes that's the voice that we're getting pulled by, right? So we need to spend that time in prayer. In a special way, we need to pray for others. There's really no relationship like that of a mother that she gets on her knees and prays for her children. I'm so thankful for the relationships I've had with my own mother, my grandmother, Godmother, my Heavenly Mother Mary, and many spiritual mothers who've prayed for me. Otherwise, without that, I wouldn't be here. 
power of prayer is incredibly real. So brothers and sisters, let us <coughs> nice little reminder, every single day we need to carve out that time to pray, have silence, spend time listening to the Lord. You know, sheep are often called very stupid and stubborn, right? Let us not be the stubborn sheep that when the Lord calls, we don't hear his voice, but that we go straight to him, allow him to bring us home.